Thank you very much for the invitation and the introduction. The first thing, I wanted to say a few words about the, the first question that was raised, whether we still need the e privacy regulation or the e privacy rules. And uh, I thought that we should be way past this question by now. I think the regulation is on the table. And it, it's clear that the reasons why the first e-privacy di directive was adopted in the first place are still valid today. The e-privacy regulation is meant to complement the GDPR. And in the same way, the e-privacy directive complemented the 95 the data protection directive. And uh, we are talking about two different fundamental rights. On, one hand, on the one hand, we have Article 8 about data protection, GDPR. On the other hand, we have Article 7 about the protection of personal life. That's where the e-privacy comes in. Also, we're talking about two different things. One is about personal data, the other one's about communications, which may include personal data, but it's two different things. So do we need the two? Yes. Can the two coexist? Yes, they can. Should we avoid overlaps? Of course. But I would say that adding an additional layer of protection is not an overlap. It's the seatbelt of a car overlapping with the brakes, for example. So if you don't want uh, an e-privacy directive, okay, then the alternative is to go back and open the GDPR. Uh, show of hands, who thinks this is a good idea? <laughs> I don't think we have a majority anyway. But. So on the proposal itself, um, overall we welcome this proposal and uh, there's still some questions, still, uh, still work to do to clarify various things. But I think that it's, it's a good starting point. Since uh, I'm sure that a lot of people think that consumers are always uh, complaining, I'm going to start with the positive side, the things uh, we, th we value and we think are, are good things in the, in the proposal. We welcome the extension of the scope of the principle of confidentiality of communications to OTPs. Why should a message that I send uh, via SMS be more protected than a uh, a message I sent via WhatsApp or another service, both should be covered by this principle of confidentiality these communications. And um, the Eurobarometer that the European Commission published uh, showed very clear results uh, on this as well. 92% of the respondents, uh, left and right wing center, they all support that the confidentiality of communications is extended to these services as well. We are also well, very happy and welcome that consent remains a, a key element uh, for things such as uh, tracking users or accessing their, their devices. And here again, the Eurobarometer was very clear. Nine out of 10 respondents thought that it's important that information on their computers or devices can only be accessed with their permission. And I don't think that there's any requirement in the GDPR that obliges that. So if we get if we get rid of the e-privacy directive, we lose that. Third point, we also welcome the intention the, of the Commission to try to limit or reduce the amount of uh, times that users are asked uh, for consent. Try to centralize this with uh, via technical means. Of course, we also have to do some work there. But it's a, it's a good thing that this is in the proposal. And we also welcome the improvements in terms of the enforcement uh, system, which were, was mentioned previously by Worship from the EDPS. Uh, we think that it's, it's very good that it's, uh, data protection authorities are going to be dealing with this and that we can benefit from the system that was created with the GDPR. On the negative side, we are very disappointed that privacy by default is absent completely absent from the directive. And from this point of view, we think that Article 10 needs to be greatly improved. And also, this is something that's coming from the Eurobar Eurobarometer as well. 89% of people agreed that default settings of their browsers should stop their information from being shared, 89%. And this has been ignored in the proposal. We need to cover not only browsers, but also other things like mobile operating systems and the devices themselves. They should be privacy by design and by default, like the GDPR says. Also, it should be crystal clear that websites cannot prevent users from accessing their services if they do not accept being tracked for advertising purposes, for example. Again, there is something here about, the, there's something in the GDPR about this, but we need to build upon that to make sure that this is uh, clearly uh, an obligation 
and also it came from the Eurobarometer once again. 65% of people thought it's unacceptable to have online activities monitored in exchange for unrestricted access. And 74% think that it is unacceptable to pay in order not to be monitored. So there has to be an alternative to 24-7 commercial surveillance if we want to access online services. Um, third point, we're also very worried about the uh, article, let's say, 8.2b. And I'm getting a bit technical here, but this is about tracking the physical location of users by other devices without asking for their consent. And we also think that uh, this should be looked at pretty carefully as it's deviating from the general uh, consent obligation that's in the other part of the, re of the regulation. And also it can be very privacy invasive. So at least for certain purposes, it should be mandatory to still ask for consent. And fourth point, we were also wondering why in terms of the enforcement and the fines that can be imposed for food by other regulation, why um, the breaching confidential, uh, breaching let's say the, the security or breaching your your device, like entering your device without your permission, is considered less serious than breaching the confidentiality of communications. It's a bit like saying that uh, breaking into my house is less serious than opening my mail. So. I think I will leave it there and uh, look forward to working with uh, everyone in the legislators and I'm sure that we will be able to find uh, a balanced uh, solution.